How's it going, guys? This is Tay Salamander here, and I want to give my thoughts and opinions on Fairy Tale <clears throat> Chapter 309. In the nutshell, pretty much it was mostly like just all mostly just fighting. Like, Nazu had this fight going on with the leader of the executioners. Um, Mia Jane had her fight going on. Lucy, um, Panther Lily. Um, Yukino, Lucy, Happy and Chalu, and Arcadius. Pretty much, it was okay during the chapter, but at the end, it was just like, what the fuck, really? Like, that happened? Pretty much, let me give my summary of the chapter, pretty much. Pretty much, the chapter starts off with, you know, Natsu standing right there in front of the executioner's leader and everything. The leader takes his sword, his hand swords, or whatever you call them, off his back. Starts to attack Natsu with them and everything. Pretty much Natsu's dodging here and there. And I give I'll give credit to this leader guy, whatever. He's doing pretty good. Like he got Natsu on the ropes a little bit. But Natsu can probably handle his ass. No big deal. <coughs> After we switch over to a panel of Panther Leader versus the the big ass the big ass guy with the fucking acid coming from his mouth. Pretty much, uh, Panther Lily saying pretty much, if I use my sword against this, it would fucking melt my sword. So pretty much, I've got to dodge his techniques and find a way to, you know, beat him without fucking disintegrating skin off my fucking bones. Pretty much afterwards, we switch over to Mia Jane versus the one paper chick using her pa pa paper, I forgot, I forgot the name of it, paper, paper god something or whatever. And she said pretty much this paper is the god of poison, so pretty much she's trying to poison Mia Jane, which shouldn't be too much struggle for Mia Jane. She just used one of her Satan modes to fucking bash that shit off her and everything. Pretty much afterwards to switch over to loose to Wendy versus the um, the one flower chick like and the flower chick is using this one technique to pretty much uh, make uh, Wendy fall asleep forever, which I might say it could happen, just an if, because Wendy is weak. I don't care what some people say, fanboy girls, uh, uh, Wendy fangirls or whatever. Lucy is, <laughs> Wendy is pretty much weak to me, like, she's the weakest of the Dragon Slayers, like, I just gotta say it. I know she's still young, she got, you know, a lot of character development coming uh, eventually in the future, but right now... She's just weak. So if she were to you know fall asleep forever, it wouldn't affect me. But I highly doubt it. Something might happen. So you know. But not the afterwards. We uh, move over to Yukino, Lucy, Chalu, Happy versus the one guy with the fucking mask over his face or something. I forgot his name it was Ty something or whatever. The guy that can make make your what bones disintegrate or some shit. Pretty much, he's using this technique and everything. He used this, this uh, one lava technique on to uh, disintegrate the ground and make the uh, lava from under the ground come up and everything. And pretty much Lucy and Yukino are about to fall in it, but they grab onto the ledge and try to hold up. And this is when, you know, Happy and Chalalu try to come over and, you know, try to help them because they can fly and, you know, they lift them up. But the guy uses this one, like, this, he uses this, like, I guess, some kind of gravity technique and, you know, smash them to the ground so they can't help. So afterwards, as this happened, and Yukino and Lucy are struggling, you know, to like get up, but pretty much the lava is so hot, it's like burning their fucking feet. So they got nothing best to do but to try to hold up and try to hold on so they won't fucking die. And pretty much, we see a is, you know, he's still fucked up, banged on the ground. And pretty much saying, like, Lucy, Yukino, don't give up. Like, you're my, you're my hope. So pretty much he gets his ass up, you know, after giving his little speech, get his ass up, runs over to them. I was shocked to see this. Jumps his ass, fucking feet first, into the fucking lava. Lifts both Yukino and fucking Lucy under their asses. <laughs> Lifts them up, you know, to put them back on, over the ledge and everything so they won't die. So pretty much afterwards, he goes on to say that pretty much it's, rather, it's up to you whether you decide the Eclipse plan is good or not. So you decide. So pretty much afterwards, we see him, you know, sink into the fucking lava. So pretty much, hey, I thought right there that was like, you know, the end of Icarus. But next panel page, we see, um, what's the uh, one Celestial's 
spirit. Um, it's the I forgot the name, but it's the it's the one clock one. He pops out of the fucking lava with uh fucking Nicardius inside of him. Like really? Are you fucking serious? <laughs> like he actually saves him. Like I didn't think a celestial spirit can survive lava. I didn't think that, but when the fuck did the celestial spirit? Fucking come to the you know human world, Earthland or whatever, and fucking have a cardius inside of him. Like, how does that happen? Like, that's just that's just fucking troubling. Like, there's nothing I can say on that. Like, he went fucking uh, feet first into the lava. So when did the fucking celestial spirit come out and fuck you know put him inside of him? Like, his fucking feet should have been burnt off. Or fucking like, you know, as this clinic disintegrated off or some shit. But they wasn't. So pretty much other words, you know, he says, I say, you know, the the Akari is, but he's pretty big in here and everything. And pretty much the next page we see is one this one person, you know, we see his his shoe. Next page we see is, you know, Loki. You know. He's pretty much saying like we got your keys back and everything. And he gives, you know, Lucy her keys back and gives Yukino her two keys back. And so pretty much afterwards, the fighting here, this this is where the fighting finally starts, right here. So pretty much afterwards, we go back to Natsu versus the leader. And pretty much, you know, like I said, Natsu's having a little, little difficulty fighting against the you know, leader. Pretty much, he grabs onto the leader's, the executioner the leader's sword, or whatever you want to call it, a blade or whatever. And pretty much, she like uses fire and like puts a crack in it or it kind of destroys it a little bit and pretty much he says to the hunter's leader pretty much now I can beat you and the leader was a little shocked to see that not to kind of like put a crack in his sword or broke it or whatever and that's where the chapter ends for fairy tale chapter 309 overall I would gotta say like it's it was a good chapter and everything like we, we saw each battle going on and everything like each member of fairy tales like struggling a little bit here here and there on what on what to do to counter attack each enemy which is good and everything but just at the end though just completely like fucked it up like akari's jump he jumped fucking feet first into fucking lava sank his ass in the thing then the fucking celestial spear comes out saying He's alive. He's 100% safe. Like, if that was me, and I gotta say somehow, like, I wouldn't, I would be still alive, but I wouldn't have my fucking feet. Like, he jumped first, he jumped feet first in the bitch. Molting hot ass lava into that fucking shit, and he's still alive. Just crazy. But overall, let me know what you thought of the chapter. Did you like it? Was it good? Was it bad? Were you satisfied? Be your response if you like. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And have a blessed day.